Let me out here if I lean like this. Uh, you are out of the shot. If you okay, like good. That. Okay, thank you. All right, stand by. I got a two shot, and go ahead, Jimmy. Okay. John, if nothing else, you have more character faces than just about anyone who I've ever seen as an actor. Uh, you look different in just about every kind of uh, phase in this movie you're supposed to, but it's amazing. Is, do you realize that's really one of your talents, is to look very different, to be a lot of people? I'm very happy to hear you say that, and I'm trying to be many different uh, things and different parts of uh, this whole life experience. As a human being, you and I, of course, everyone else uh, have our own environment and our um, limited exposure to experiences because we don't go through a traumatic experience every year or anything like that. So as an artist, it, it is a privilege for me to be in touch with many different aspects of life. And I'm, that's what turns me on, that's what keeps me going, uh, keep on doing what I'm doing. You're a little bit like, uh, at least your background, like the young emperor in that you were raised in Peking at the very strict opera company. Yeah, in Hong Kong. In Hong Kong. Because they came to Hong Kong at that time. And um, yeah, we were alone in the crowd. And I have always um, felt that my independence early because without knowing my family, so I was not being um, connected. So I was on my own. So you related to like, this young man you were playing? Oh, absolutely. I have tremendous compassion for him. And I f feel very sad and when I think of him. Did you know anything about the story before you were given the script? No, I knew nothing about him until I met with Bernardo in 1985. He gave me the uh, biography to read about the emperor that he wrote. And, uh, and then I had a year and a half of research and with Bernardo in New York, Rome, London to just work out all the detail before we start shooting. And then it took six months to shoot. Some Chinese that I've spoken with immediately say that the emperor was a traitor, and maybe he was a sympathetic person, but they're very harsh and almost, uh, you know, immediately blunt about this man was a traitor. And uh, while there may be things about him that are sympathetic and things well, like that, they do say traitor very quickly. The Why? reality was the man was exiled in his own country. Mm -hmm. People would have emotionally used him as a scapegoat and killed him. And the Japanese were the only one that took the advantage, saw an opportunity and apparently helped him. But uh, he has really very little choice, and I don't know how you feel when you saw the film. He really literally had no choice. He either get killed by some stupid incident on the street by you know, being spotted. He has to be uh, sheltered somewhere. I felt sorry for the guy. Because the Chinese won't take him. Right? He could not be wandering around in the street. He was kind of a man without a country, and uh, he didn't yeah, know what he was supposed to do. He's in exile of his own country. And, uh, and if you understand, if you start thinking about the possibility that could it exist, I think most people would feel compassionate towards him. He was an innocent. There's no question in my mind. He was an innocent. <coughs> Through the process of struggling and surviving, he became a great actor. He has to. Just like most of us in life, that we act, interact. And sometimes we become a better actor at it. Not, not insincerely. <coughs> Excuse me. Most people think that when you're talking about acting, they think that you're being insincere. It's not true. And uh, it's only when you are not um, fully aware of, of what you're doing, when you're awkward, when you, when, well, or when you are insincere, that's when they come across insincere. You have a lot of your life tied up in this film, I guess, don't you? How many years? It take two, two years? Two years, yeah. I, I, I waited for Bernardo. In the beginning, there was a lot of problem with changing dates all the time. But I waited for him. I turned down a lot of money, first time in my life, to do a studio picture. I turned it down because I, I wanted this experience with Bernardo and in China. And with this tremendous part that was given to me. Because Bernardo never even once asked me to audition or read for him. He just, we just had meetings. I know it's really hard to, to answer this question in a way, but it's really almost like a <laughs> once-in-a-lifetime part for something like this, isn't it? It's, it's so big and it's an epic film and not many films like this are even attempted. Anymore. I think perhaps you might agree with me without me exaggerating, this is a great moment in my life. And I do hope, um, and I know it's, it's fact for Bernardo, for everyone, because when I saw the film in New York when the, the first time, I was so proud of the filmmaker. This is what we set out to do and they completed. 
you know, mm-hmm. because we did not make any wrong turns or, or any kind of calculation thinking that, oh, we should manipulate the audience to do this, to do that. The whole thing was very honestly done. You've and been in some very commercial films, The Ice, Iceman and also uh, Year of the Dragon, <laughs> so I want to see if you can do a little something for the public. Some people, m- number one, may be scared off by the length of the film. It's, kind of, it's rather long. It's a little over two and a half hours. They also may be scared off with the fact that it is not a comedy. Uh, I'm not even sure if it's a drama. It's, a, it's something all its own. Without being a salesman, I guess is what I'm asking you to do, how do you tell somebody to go check this movie out? I do uh, experience, a l- I just came back from Europe and uh, in Asia before, that it seems like almost almost everybody that I have talked to, that they all felt like they want to see it again. And most people never notice the time has passed because, as you know, there was so much to see. Mm-hmm. That's why I think most people want to see it again because they, it was just overwhelming the first time. I think it's a very beautifully made, superbly made by the filmmaker from Bernardo down, um, of a romantic film about this one innocent man against this enormous history behind him. You know, that's what is a great, con- great contrast. Because the man himself, the emperor, compared to the world around him and the background around him, it's just such a contrast. You know, he's not a dark energy, he's the light. And, but he's not a courageous person. So therefore, he, he, he was being considered a bit cowardice and a uh, weaker character. But, but I, I felt most people felt very compassionate towards him. That, uh, and I hope people give us a chance to come take a I look. I guess in the difference yeah. in reading, it's th- there, there are things to read like pop books, yeah. and then there are classics, and this is really more of a classic, isn't it? Yeah, but I'd really like to share this with the audience in terms of China, mm-hmm. in terms of the artistry and the humanistic uh, part of Bernardo, and all of us um, involved in this film. That is a tremendous effort. There's really no cinema like this before. Mm-hmm. And I think if, if anybody doesn't even go to film very often, I think, I hope their friends will, will relate what they have seen to, to the people, the fact that this is really an event for cinema. And also, people are very curious about China right now, mm-hmm. I think. And through this film, you get to see the old China, the new China, all at once. Mm-hmm. You know, this film can go on for nine hours without telling everything, but the fact that the filmmaker has made a specific choices to show you what they felt is really the most necessary. That's why I, I, I think people will have a good time to see something that they, is not a cheap thrill. Well, I know you will go on to do a lot of other you know, great motion pictures, but I think if you didn't do any more, this would be enough. I mean, this is a, quite a movie for you. Thank you. Thank you, you so much. Thank you.